So I was contacted through email uh, by a viewer who is interested in buying a fifth wheel that is over here in the Melbourne area. So I'm going to take a little drive from the island here over across the bridge on, onto the mainland and make contact with, uh, coincidentally, another viewer uh, of the channel here who is the seller of this fifth wheel. And going to make the going to bridge the connection here for him and just check out the the fifth wheel for him and uh, since they are out of state and uh, kind of give it a cursory once over and and then give them the information that I find so if they want to buy it you know that's up to them to pursue that from that point on so so let's head over there and take a look So here we are. May I introduce Chris? Hello. Uh, I've come out to take a look at her 2019 uh, Keystone Montana. Beautiful fifth wheel that we're standing next to here uh, for another viewer out of state. So coming into the main living area, we see this is a beautiful decor here with the mix of, what is this, walnut wood up here? Yeah, it looks like a little bit of walnut trim, but it's double stain and glazed, bump and stagger kind of um, trim that looks really nice. It gives it that three dimensional look when it pops out like this. You can see the glaze work into there. And this is real wood all the way down. Lots of reflections, lots of reflective material to help add dimension and space to it. And over here, which is nice to see, is a table. The table comes out from the, the, the bulkhead here. Nice. Lots of huge windows here. Tons of visibility with day and night shades. Nice tinted windows. And here we have a, a love seat recliner. Massage and heat. And then we have another, I take it this is a sleeper sofa here yes. in the back. Nice little fireplace accent here below the entertainment center. Kind of a layout that you see common in many fifth wheels. But right here in this area you get a lot of different uh, options. Sometimes you put the entertainment center back here. Put the couches on the sides as, you, as you've seen in Pippi's uh, RV. And then over here facing towards the kitchen, you can see that we have the uh, gas cooktop over there, which is my favorite. And you've got a nice oven below, all kinds of storage, beautiful stain. I love the cabinets. A nice big convection microwave oven there. And of course, your island in the middle and all kinds of under, under lighting. And you said you put in the uh, Yes, it's just a peel and stick, so if you don't like it, you can That's it. nice. It just made the counter look I love it. lighter. And these are great countertops here, of course, with your insets here to add more countertop space and all metal fixtures, of course. And we have a full residential size, side-by-side -side refrigerator. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I see there's a lot of under cabinet lighting here. That's all standard, right? You, That's you part of the, the 20th edition anniversary. To the right of the refrigerator, we have a nice, large pantry. Man, tons of storage in there. Plenty, plenty of storage for, this is a, obviously, and most of them, as most of them are, family unit. And this is a nice little work area over here with extra countertop space and actual tile in the back with some glass in there. Thermostat, storage above that. Even exit lighting above the shelves, above the crown molding. Okay, Chris, we're going to head back here and take it to, oh, look, we've got a nice little cubby right here to hang your coats and your keys as you come in and go out. Lighted stairs down here at the bottom and a central back connection down there at the bottom. Coming upstairs and uh, we have the bathroom here. By opening the door here, it opens midway so the full door doesn't come out into the hallway when you open it. And into the bathroom, we have the same treatments with the good floor and the good countertops, and metal fixtures, and uh, the full one-piece inset shower stall there. So you don't have to worry about leaks in there. Lots of room at the top for standing. And you've got a medicine cabinet in there and a foot flush head, porcelain. Okay, continuing to the rear here of the boudoir. A barn door hung type of slider door here for the bedroom that looks awesome. And this bed is a RV 
king bed. Opening windows on both sides with day and night shades. And it's got a nice full headboard treatment on the rear there that's kind of like a pelted leather with uh, uh, beige piping. Very homey, comfortable, warm, and charming in here. In the back right here, we open this little door and you've got more storage here. And this is a pre-hookup for your washer and dryer. Lots of closet space here. Down below, up above. At the foot of the bed here, you can see we have a nice little chest of drawers just below a nice little viewing window. That is also your emergency exit and a TV that is stowed away above that. Okay, so we got a slide out. This is a full wall slide out over here from the refrigerator all the way down to the entertainment center. And then we have a slide out over here where the dual recliner and dining area is. And then in the bedroom, we have a slide out here where the king is. Uh, 2019 so everything is nice and clean and shiny and ready to roll the way it is got some auto levelers already in place so it was really nice meeting Chris and taking a look at uh, their fifth wheel there it's a really nice unit relatively new it's a 2019 and in excellent shape and if you want you can throw a generator in there or add a washer and dryer in there as well just to add some more luxury to that unit I think it's priced absolutely fair and it's a great deal and the thing looks great tempting gotta admit so huge thank you for chris nice to meet you chris thanks for having me and thanks for giving me access to your rv there to help out another fellow viewer wow the wind is really cranking today you can see the white caps out there on the river And if any of you might be interested in this unit as well, you better move fast. Drop me an email. Wow, that was quick. As it turns out, I just got an email from Howard up there in Michigan, and it seems like they're going to move forward with a deal on this particular unit. I'm really excited for Chris. Congratulations, Chris, if this deal goes through. I know this means a lot to you, and it's going to really benefit and help you guys in your situation as things are now. And Howard, you guys get on down here, finish up the paperwork, hook up to this guy, and take it back to Michigan and start some wonderful travels some new memories for you coming your way be sure looking forward hopefully to see some videos that you may share with us of your little adventures in this awesome fifth wheel congratulations to everybody involved okay so I'm gonna wrap this one up right here to save time I'm getting ready to step back out again and meet up with yet another viewer you might have seen him in the comments below mr. Judd Rose uh, he's been a long time viewer he was also a recipient of a giveaway of that emergency solar powered radio that I gave away a number of videos ago so I told him you get up here in the area give me a shout and which he did because he's interested in looking at an RV over here in the Melbourne area across the river so I'm gonna pack up shoot over there see him stay tuned for the next video I'll take you along with me meanwhile don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell for me please it is so important to the YouTube algorithm otherwise they think I'm a nobody but I'm Baba Jean and I appreciate you being here thanks for watching this is great therapy